Inside the Carter Subaru Studios, I'm Ursula Royteen. Subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. Cairo Radio 97.3 FM. News and talk. Powered by the Pacific Northwest. Lake Washington windows and doors. A window and a door is a good thing to have, Tom. Makes for good neighbors. Well, that's fences, isn't <laughs> Those it? Those are walls. Those are walls. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lake Washington windows and doors, they leave the fencing to somebody else. They're there to fix it. It says it right there in the name. Having some problems with windows and doors, it's Lake Washington windows and doors just for you. Hey, we're looking at this. We're on Facebook Live for really no apparent reason <laughs> other than the fact that the people in uh, Salt Lake, Utah, that own Bonneville want us yeah. to do more digital. So here we are. But it's also a big occasion because you're here on a Friday. No. <laughs> That's what people tune in for, that kind of great <laughs> humor. That That's back and right. forth. <laughs> Woody repartee. Evan Costello oh, or not. Oh, <laughs> Mike, the silent one, who said nothing in the meeting we had two days ago <laughs> and made me carry the entire thing. How you doing over there? Good. Yeah, there's a word out of your mouth. <laughs> how, many, uh, how many people are tuning into this nonsense? 15. 15. See, That's the most you've a- ever had. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Must be, uh, must be in high season for a cold and flu in order for people <laughs> to be at home watching this. Okay, here's what happens. We get somebody on the phone. Jacob screened this guy, and uh, now he's going to come on. We're going to ask him five questions. Let's meet our contestant now. Mm-hmm. His name is Mick. He's 43. And he works for Snohomish County Parks. He was named after... Mickey Mantle. Wow. Yeah, how about that? Well, wow. that's, you know, that's just a mic drop moment right there. You don't need to add any more interesting details about your life after that one. Right, Mick? Uh, Jacob wanted me to. And did you have anything for him, or are you just going to leave us hanging <laughs> had, at that? Yeah, that, yeah I got nothing. Okay. So if you're 43, you must have been named for Mickey Mantle after the book Ball Four came <laughs> out to show you all the scandalous behavior of Mickey Mantle. Tom, usually I like your stick, but um, yeah, you're right. That's, that's correct. Wow. Bingo. Um, wow. Wrong. <laughs> All right then. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, as more bad stuff, no. came, more bad stuff came out about him, Mick. Are you like, hey, you sort of distance yourself a little bit and think maybe you're Mickey Rooney, named after <laughs> someone um, like that? No. Abso- absolutely not. I've okay. been called Mick Jagger, but ugh, that's that's gross. Mm. Um. You'd rather be Mantle. Good the for thing, you. The thing is, is that somehow my dad told all his girlfriends growing up, I'm going to name my firstborn son after Mickey Mantle. Mm-hmm. And I happen to be a firstborn son. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> and they, he told that was the story he told to all his girlfriends, huh? <laughs> Compelling. Compelling. Yeah, yeah John. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> How many Mickey Mantles are there out there? Wow, look at that. <laughs> all right, Mick. Uh, Snohomish uh, County Parks. What do you do with the Snohomish County Parks Department? Uh, well, I like to say I make it great again. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, but you remember, you are but, the government if you work for Snohomish County Parks. Uh, I know, but that implies that it was great before. So, yeah, it is a... <laughs> It's a tough. It's a tough road to hoe. Did we? Did we wake so. you up to get you on the phone, Mick? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I was napping. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Uh, this is the uncomfortable question that Tom normally asks, and I'll ask it for him. Uh, when you listen to the Tom and Curly Show, as so many people do, uh, do you find yourself agreeing with Tom, or do you find yourself agreeing with me more often? Well, like I told Jacob, I said I agree with Tom. But I find John hilarious. Okay, so. okay well, that's going to be hard for you, Tom. Where do you go on this No, I, I say if he agrees with me, he has high standards. He needs to hold them up. He needs to get four out of five. Four Mick. out of five is the challenge for you, Mick. Named after Mickey yikes. Mantle. All right. Yeah, yikes <laughs> is right. Tone and tenor changes. All right, here we go. All right, All right here Tone we go. and tenor. Tone and tenor. Tone and tenor has changed. <laughs> Number one. And don't forget, there's 15 people watching you do yeah, this that's... over the phone. No. Yeah, that's right. There was six. There was 16, but I had to shut it off. On the phone with you, so. Oh, my God. You're working really hard there at Snohomish <laughs> County Parks. Okay. Number Stop one. It. Stop Prince, it. Prince I'm Andrew. on lunch. Okay. Oh, you're on, on lunch. lunch. He's on lunch. Okay. Prince Andrew denied yeah, him. Hey, hey, Nick. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. Prince Andrew denied having sex with an underage girl. The alleged victim said the prince did something on the dance floor that the prince says he was incapable of doing because he was shot at in the war. What can't he do, Tom? A, 
sweat, B, the Macarena, or C, move in rhythm to the music? Oh, good Christmas. Um, I want to say... D, all of the above? <laughs> you could, but that's, that's not one of your choices. Narrow it Oh, down. C. C. <laughs> I hit the button wrong. Yeah. <laughs> wrong! No, wrong, no. Uh, just going through them doesn't help you. That's it, one wrong. It was sweat. Okay. Sweat, sweat. Okay, you got to get I, all... I blame Jacob. Hang I on. You gotta... <laughs> <laughs> Mick, you got to get the next four you have to get correct, or you won't be able to go to the Mariners game on July 10th. <laughs> 10th. Are they... Are they playing the Yankees that day? I don't know. Oh, oh, that would goody. be perfect. South yes. Dakota was in the news this week. An ad campaign created uh, for the state drew ridicule and scorn. The ad showed various South Dakotans looking directly into the camera and declaring something. What did they say that upset so many, Tom? A, 84.68% can't be wrong. The number is the percentage of white people living in the state. B, I'm on meth. Or C, Screw you, too. The screen dips to black, and an announcer says, We are South Dakotans, and we don't care about you either. A. <laughs> oh, my God. That's wrong on so many levels. Wrong! I have. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think he's going I five really for five. Week. I apologize. <laughs> All right. Oh, you haven't listened all week. But just, uh, just, just it's for a second. Stop the music, please, Andrew. Do you really think that they would do a public service announcement saying that 84.6% of us are white? Do you think they would like, they're there, we can't be wrong. I, they would put I that do. out. Yeah. <laughs> I do. All right, it's moving like, on. Although the counter to that is, yeah, you think they'd actually put an ad campaign that says, I'm on meth? Wrong! That's the real mom. All right, here we go. At this point, you're just going to uh, take a Bodie McBoatface. Okay, will you stop, Nick? <laughs> Golly. Sorry. Beloved, Com Beloved Como TV weatherman made an announcement. What is Steve Poole up to, Tom? A. He'll announce temperatures around the sound that correspond with the letter of the day. For instance, on Monday, he'll report the temperature for Muckleteo. On Friday, he might do Fife or Federal Way. That's going to be exciting. B. Mm. Steve Poole will be performing in an emotionally power-packed one-man show at the Emerald Queen Casino. Poole says he's excited to take theater goers on the emotional roller coaster that is predicting the weather in the Northwest. Tickets go on sale Saturday for Forecast Calls for Pain. Or C, he's retiring. C. <laughs> hey, you got the hang of it. Here we go. A casting news from Hollywood shocked the nation more than 10 years ago. The idea was floated that the part of Harriet Tubman would be played by who, Tom? A. Tyler Perry, B, Julia Roberts, or C, Gary Coleman? Yikes. Um, I want to go Gary Coleman. I know that's the best choice. Yes. <laughs> he, is, he does seem America. to be trying his best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gary Coleman, because the Underground Railroad was like a tunnel, and you would need somebody short in order to get the people... The slaves to the north. And Tyler Perry's John, son. see, now I agree with you all the time. <laughs> yeah, <you're right. laughs> well, well, you're you, getting them all wrong, so that yeah, works. You can't. <laughs> you are like Mickey Mantle in his drunken last <laughs> yeah. uh, year at the bat. Okay, here we go. Tim, I'm 535 bombs. All right, go ahead. Hold on. T uh, Tim, uh, t uh, Tim Allen. <laughs> Tim Allen. <laughs> Tim, <Iman. laughs> Tim Allen. Gee whiz. See this? You play He's to the level of your guests. You really do. Tim <laughs> He's I performing with Steve Poole at the casino. Stop. Let's finish this. <laughs> Tim Iman announced he's going to do what in 2020? Tom. A. Run for governor of Washington. B. Steal chairs. He says he thinks he can get away with it this time. Or C. He's taking over for Steve Poole as Como's weatherman. Everyone thinks I love cars, Iman said. But my true love is meteorology. That's good. Okay, Tom. Yes. Beautiful voice with the way you laid that out, but yeah. I want to say A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So true. Him off. You came through in a pinch, Mick. Thanks a lot. That's no, great. You didn't get five or four out of five, but no, it doesn't no, no. matter. Hey, I have. 
I I got none right. I don't. I, whatever. You got one. Um, you got one. I appreciate it. You got yeah. one. That's no, okay. Two. 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 We got two. We got three two. All right. Five. Whatever. Yeah. Like we ever keep track. So of you qual you qualify for being a John Curley fan. <laughs> well, here we go, Mick. You're gonna find yourself on like, July 10th. I would rest up and maybe go down there right now and get in line. <laughs> to get yourself uh, John. in there early, July 10th. You may be the only person. <laughs> in the Puget Sound that has a ticket to the July 10th Mariners game as they take on yeah. a, a franchise team that hasn't even been formed yet. So. I, do ag I do agree with you on that one, John. I will be the only one there. <laughs> All right, Mick, have yourself a fabulous weekend. And if you want to watch yourself do really poorly on the radio, this will be rebroadcast, or at least you can go to our Facebook page and watch it over and over again. Okay, Mick? Well... Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Don't send me a cat peed on T-shirt. No, that'd be yeah. nice. I will send you. I'll send you a Dutch oven lobster T-shirt. Okay. Oh, that's All even right, better. All right, appreciate it. All right, thanks, Mick. Bye, bye. Thanks, Mick. Fantastic. The Subaru Share the Love event is on now at Carter Subaru. This is Colleen O'Brien. What does that mean? Well, right now, Subaru will donate $250 for every new Subaru bought to one of six charities. The Subaru Share the Love event is a great time of year, and there are also amazing deals at Carter Subaru, including 0% APR financing, no payments until...